the blowout preventer, or BOP stack as it's commonly called. The blowout preventer is a valve which is installed at the top of the well to prevent a flow of hydrocarbons, oil and gas to surface. It's there to stop a blowout, hence blowout preventer. This is a ram preventer you're looking at here, a single preventer, and it's named the ram preventer. The most important part of this tool is right in the centre, which are the rams. I've got here a separate model to show you what is in the middle. These are the two rams shown here in closed position. I open them, I close them, and these will close around, as you see, a specific size of pipe. OK, let's look at this in a bit more detail. The, this model here is approximately seven inches in diameter, and everything we run into the well has to go through this hole. That is bits, casing, logging tools, coring tools, stabilizers, everything we use to drill has to go into the center of the well. So, this is a small one. I run bits 17 and a half inches, and clearly the BOP, I have a bigger one. I have a BOP, if you look here, the center of the shaft might be as large as this. You can imagine this is a big item of equipment. So, how do we open and close these rams? Let me show you that. The BOP is split into three sections. The ram cavity here in the center, and on either side you have the operating bonnets. Let's look at the one on this side, which is sectioned, to see how it works. There's a large shaft through the middle here, you'll see it, and look, it goes into the, uh, the operating cavity, and here the ram is hanging on the end of the closing and opening shaft. We can just change that, as I'll show you later. This shaft is moved by this operating piston. You'll see there the rubber seal. This piston moves inside this operating cylinder. At the moment, it's in more or less closed position. If I apply pressure on this side of the piston, the shaft will move this way and withdraw the ram from the bore of the well. If I apply pressure this side, the piston, of course, moves this way, moves the shaft, and closes the ram on the ram coming from the other side. When the ram is closed, at the end here, you can see I have a locking mechanism. If I make up this bolt, you'll see it will hit the end of the shaft, and the ram will be closed. So that's how we open and close the BOP rams around the pipe. Now let's see how they seal. If I pretend my arm is a piece of drill pipe, I put it here in the well. Ow! OK, now you'll see the piece of pipe right through the middle of the rams. And you'll see there the rubber, which is sealing on my arm. Let's come out and look at it in more detail. So here you see the rubber, which was sealing on the pipe. Here it's sealing on the other ram, of course, and here around the pipe. So that's a good seal. And then if you move along here a little bit, there's another seal here on the top of the ram to prevent pressure, of course, coming up in this direction. Now, if we look at the bottom of the ram, you'll see here, look, I can put my hand underneath it. There is no seal at the bottom of the ram. So, it's important to realise that this piece of equipment only holds pressure from beneath. Of course, it's stopping wellbore pressure coming up. But now, of course, you must realize it's important that I install this piece of equipment the right way up. Yeah, you might think this is crazy, but indeed, some 25 years ago in Norway, a blowout took place because this item of equipment was installed upside down. How do we know it's the right way up? Well, if we can look inside, it's obvious, but from the outside, there's a clue. Let me show you the clue. It's in the opening and closing mechanism. Here is where the hydraulic line would be connected to open the BOP. Very obvious. And on the other side, another hydraulic line to close the BOP. Now, if you can read open, then the BOP is installed the correct way up. If you can read NIPO, then indeed the BOP is the wrong way up and you're going to have a problem. OK, let's look at how we change the rams. I have different rams for this BOP. Here, I have some shear rams. 
You'll see here, look, there's no opening for pipe, but if I open them, you'll see on the front face knives designed to cut steel. These will cut five-inch drill pipe and casings. Not, I hasten to add, drill collars. Close them, and they will cut the pipe and seal, and the pipe will drop in the well. How can I put these into my BOP? The bonnet here, I told you, is the operating mechanism. I have to open the bonnet. It's a big piece of equipment. OK, so I open this bolt here, the bonnet bolt. There would be another one here, of course, if it weren't for the section. And if you look underneath, there's another one here and one at the back. There's four of them. We undo these bolts and then we apply hydraulic pressure to this device. And there's another piston now and an operating cylinder. You see the seal? If I apply pressure here, this shaft is fixed here. So the whole bonnet will come open. It'll come slide open like this. And when it's fully open, I can see the ram here. I pick the ram off, the old one, and I put the different size ram, whatever I want, into position. I then apply pressure on this side of the piston, and the whole bonnet slides back. I, of course, have to do up the bonnet bolts, and you'll see there there's a seal which seals the bonnet against the ram cavity, and once again we have pressure integrity of the ram cavity. That is the BOP. Where is it installed? As I said, at the top of the well, let's look at a land rig. Here is the land rig with the derrick coming down to the rig floor, and immediately below the rig floor is the BOP stack. And you'll see here one, two, three sets of rams, very typical on a land rig. Let's look at an offshore BOP stack. Here you see it, a very much larger piece of equipment. And indeed, you'll see here one, two, three, four, five sets of rams, all combined together in the BOP stack. It's lowered down on the marine riser. Where is this located? It is located here, on the seabed. Follow up the marine riser to the drill ship or drilling rig alongside the BOP stack.